Chapter 2, 23. I promise never to fight in this town. And good morning. Hachi's Walk on the Seafloor, Volume 36. Octopunch and the Smiling Elder. So, I guess it looks like Hachi gave the food, the fritters, to the starving elder and got punched in the face for it. Sounds about right. So we got Luffy and Zolo about to enter the town. Nami's very concerned they're just going to go get into trouble, get in fights, whatever. So she runs off after them. Sanji tries to, but Usopp and Chopper beg him to stay in case someone tries to board the ship. And we got Nami kind of forcing Luffy to promise never to fight in this town. Interestingly, they don't really have Zolo making the promise that I can tell here. Not explicitly. He might be kind of just saying, yeah, kind of going along with it. But I don't see that. Anyway... Obviously, there's going to be a fight at some point, I would imagine. Okay, some guy uh, rolls up to them on a horse and falls down like he's dying, and his horse is coughing like he's dying. I think they might actually help him up, even though, on back onto the horse, even though they don't quite show it. But he does say thank you and then offers some suspicious looking apples as a reward. Which Zolo is like, nah, no thank you. But Luffy just grabs one and eats one. And then immediately, like, I guess the rest of the apples just flat out explode or something. (laughs) But the one Luffy ate does not. This mysterious character says, you're a lucky boy. So I guess if it had been a bad one. He'd have died instantly, which is what this guy says before that. So, uh, yeah, that was traditional, classic Luffy stupidity right there. That And luck on top of it. Yeah. Or they come across some gra- grappling champion guy that uh, Luffy's tempted to fight, but Nami kind of shuts down. They find a quiet place, Tropical Hotel, and they start wandering around there. But then they find out why it's quiet. It's because Bellamy, who we met in the last chapter, has rented out this entire hotel for his pirates, his Bellamy pirates. And we meet the guy that was vouching for Bellamy. Even though Bellamy lost that card game, this is the guy that vouched for him, and uh, which ended up in the other guy, who I can't remember his name, Rocio or something like that. Uh, ended up getting, you know, stabbed over, at least. But this guy, Big Knife Sarquis, Sarquis, Sarki, I don't know, First Mate, Bellamy Pirates, Bounty, 38 million berries. So yes, we do meet him here. I'm not sure if it, which character it is. It might be this guy. But I'm aware that uh, somebody here that we're getting introduced to goes on to become a much more advanced character later maybe more people but i have some semblance some understanding of that but i don't know exactly who it is and how it happens or anything i do i did catch a name but it could be anybody and i think there was already somebody with that name at some point or at least we've heard of that name anyway so this guy's just basically like get out of here get lost this is our spot. Luffy wants to beat him up. Big knife. Sarquis thinks that's funny. What a joke. Go buy yourself some decent clothes and just throw his money at him. Which they don't take. And Nobby grabs Luffy before he can react and gets him out of there. Some of the other pirates in the Bellamy Pirates recognize Luffy's wanted poster though. And that gets communicated to Bellamy himself even though we haven't seen him. So I guess this is Mock Town. I think I glossed over that last chapter, but that's the name of this actual town is Mock Town. Pirates are free with their loot. Brawls and killings are commonplace here, but the pirates never lay a hand on the townsfolk. They're in a bar slash restaurant drinking and eating. Luffy gets into a back and forth with another customer there. 
Luffy doesn't like the pie. This guy does. Luffy likes the drink. This guy doesn't. Luffy wants to uh, order some meat. This guy wants to order some pies. And then they go back and forth on how many pies or how much meat they're ordering. And they're just like, it's escalating into a potential fight. You want to fight? Luffy admits he's a pirate and he's worth 30 million berries. That's his bounty. It's impossible. Take it easy. There's no fighting in here. I think from the proprietor. And then Bellamy enters. Anybody seen a pirate in a straw hat around here? And Luffy looks back at him. And that's the end of the chapter. And maybe that's going to be the fight. So yeah, I'm enjoying the build up here and all the new characters and there's a bunch of pirates and they're pretty interesting so far. So I'm looking forward to the next one, which will be here. Like and subscribe. Peace.